Christian Pentecostal Mission International, Houston, Texas, presents Your Hour of Miracle. Are you dejected? Rejected? Battered? Confused or depressed? I have good news for you, there is hope. The blind see, the lame walk, sinners are saved. Captives are set free. It is never a dull moment. Ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. M. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator. Come and experience the God of Wonder. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. Those are the stages of life. Every man born of woman will surely go through the stages. The two stages. What does that mean? God is not in the plan? No, he does. Many of us know Pastor Nick. There's this pastor born without limbs. He was born without limbs. He said at a particular time of his life, he began to think, why did God create me? Why am I alive? And he said he managed and managed. In the school, he faces rejection. Other students will bully him. They will reject him. He just in one place. Nobody wants to relate with him because he's a different creature. They look at him, you know, and he said he managed his life up to 10 years. When it became 10 years, he went into the room one day. He locked up himself. He said he jumped inside the bathtub and he fell it and decided to drown in there. He decided to end his life. Look at my younger ones. Look at all the ones that come after me. Look at them. There's no point. And he felt the parents doesn't love her. Wanted to end his life. And because God had planned for his life, the parents came in to call the Lord to the shots. He was saved. And the parents told him, We love you. We appreciate you. And God has a plan for your life. Don't think that. He said, Look at my younger ones. Look at everybody beautiful. They have some, they have their legs. Why? He said, Who do I offend? The parents said, We don't know either. But that is the plan of God for your life. He said, when the parents showed him love, he said, he turned back to God. He cried. And he told the Lord, he said, God, if truly you have a plan for my life, he said, make me useful. Use me. He said, from that moment, his life changed. And he forgets about the problem he was going through. He began to preach the gospel. And that was why I got to know him. And many of us, I've heard about him. This man with ordinary one, I don't know whether I should call it toe or whatever. You can use that 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 one limb, like uh, this thing, to do anything. You can use it to control computer. You can use it to drive, use it to do anything. He began to preach the gospel. Today, Pastor Nick is married with his son, a full-fledged boy. But what am I trying to say? He was I was listening to him one day and he was just cracking a joke. He said, I thank God for my life. He said I was asking for limbs, and God said, no way, this is how I want you. But to the glory of God, I've been to countries where gospel must not be preached. He said, but God took me there. I preached the gospel. Because of my predicament, people wanted to see. People were challenged, seeing me the way I am, and I'm preaching. So many people gave their life to Christ. He said, even if they want to arrest me, there is no limbs to hang off. <laughs> you know, it was so fun. He said, even if they want to arrest me, what would, would they hang off? Would they hang off my neck or the remaining part of my body? But that was funny though. But I thank God that I do not have limbs. He said, the kind of treatment I got in life, none of my siblings. Where my parents never imagined they would get to, I got there. If you see the pretty wife, tall, beautiful, and wonderful. If you see the kind of son, so what is your situation? Your case is no worse than this guy I've just talked about. You have your two lips, your two legs, your hands are there, your eyes you can see, you can move, you have your memory. You, if God can work with such a man, then. The heaven is your own limits. Change your perception about yourself. Don't write yourself up. No. Don't write yourself up. God has not given up on you. 
Mm, no, no. He has not. He has a plan for your life. Yes. I was born a twin. Not just a twin, into a Muslim home. I was born and bred in a Muslim home. They were taken off to mosque, I mean to um, Arabic school. When we don't even know anything. That was where we grew. And as you should continue to grow, they will give you your own... Uh, we start from slaves. They'll be writing about three letters, alphabets, on the uh, slaves. We call it Wala. And Lolikiu, praise the Lord. And from there, you continue to grow. When you can read letter, the letters, from there, some words, just like that. Until after so many years. But the coincidence there, or let me call it a divine arrangement. Our school happened to be uh, a Christian school. I went to St. Michael and Ginka Primary School. In the school, they will be teaching us that Jesus is Lord. In the mosque, in the, uh, our Quranic school, they will be teaching us in Nadim in Dalai Al Islam that the only way, the only religion that will be accepted by God is Al Islam. And I continue to grow that way, not until a particular year. Christian Pentecostal Mission International, Houston, Texas, presents Your Hour of Miracle Are you dejected? Rejected? Battered? Confused or depressed? I have good news for you, there is hope. The blind see, the lame walk, sinners are saved. Captives are set free. It is never a dull moment. Ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. This program is a miracle service. Therefore, what you have come here to do is to receive your miracle. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. the power. That's the power. Yes, yes. Ha, ha, ha. I said it. I said it. Oh my God. What an awesome anointing. What a power. What a step. What a step. What a step. What a step. What a power. What a power. When the power is there. That's the power. That's the power. That's the power. Somebody help me. That's the power. 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 Oh my God. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. The anointing is here. The anointing is there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The power. The power. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. M. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator, come and experience the God of Wonder. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. After so I, walk, I look up to God and say, God, what is this night all about? Here they are telling us this is the way. These other people too, this is the way. And I went to God sincerely. I said, God, I really want to know which is the way. I want to know you sincerely. I want to know you. When I finished the Quran, we now went to, we went to another scripture that will be will be reading to learn the meaning of Quran. And the, the very first verse in that in that particular book was to Muslim I will interpret. Which means I have not created you man or woman or, or, or animal. For anything. He said, I have created you to know me so that you can serve me. That if you don't know me, you cannot serve me. At that point, I became so curious. Say, God, I really want to know you. And we finished. I was praying the prayer. Still going to mosque, still going for my Quranic school, and the rest of that. Until after our Quranic convocation. On that day, we were given a certificate. And the certificate was laminated in glass. So as they presented to every one of us, the women in the house were, you know, dancing around with the certificates. And personally, on that day, three of us graduated. Myself, my twin sister, and my elder brother, then with every other people. 
and that day my certificate got broken, fell down and became shot. I cried and cried. I was not happy, unknown to me, that it has a spiritual undertone. After about a year, I was just in a trance, in a dream, and I saw myself in a kind of a field, and I saw a man saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, no one commit unto the Father, but by me. I woke up. I became so afraid, and I started praying. I started reciting so many scriptures, because I believe it's demonic. I started reciting so many scriptures of uh, Al-Qur'an. At the end of the day, I called my twin sister. <laughs> this is what I'm going through. She gave me some other scriptures of Korean. I began to recite and continue with my prayer. After about three months, the same dream again. This time around, I became so afraid. And I called her. She gave me some other ones. I tried and tried until the third time to cause the Lord's story shoot. The third time, I couldn't even go to mosque. I was there for hours, and to the glory of God, it was on a Wednesday. I went to my work that morning, and my boss asked me that I'll be the one to pray. They called me Elijah. Say, Elijah, pray. And I was like, you know, I'm a Muslim. How will I pray? Say, pray. And I don't want to put myself to shame because every other person is a Christian. And I'll be hearing them the way they pray. I started praying in Jesus' name. <laughs> and it was... My boss was like, wow, so you know how to pray so much. And uh, then they never knew I have an issue going on in the inside of me. I could not stand it. I became so moody all through the day. The next thing I did was, when it was six hours to go home, I went straight to church. Christian Pentecostal Mission, a Pentecostal branch. I went there and sat down. Unfortunately, like what is still happening today, I did not meet the pastor. I didn't meet any members, but it's not a close church like us. I sat down there. Finally, people start coming. And when they came, oh, Elijah, they thought probably I came for business because I used to cover people that want to do wedding or any of their crusade. I said, no, I came to church. And I did Bible study that night. On Sunday, I came to church again. To call the long story short, here I am today. Amen. But what am I trying to say? There is a plan for your life. There is a plan for my life. I'm a twin, too. But why did God decide to single me out? And I was even stronger than my twin sister. I wear Taiwan under, I wear my job, and also wear uh, this other one that we call Kimar. Very long, that you will not cover all the clothes. But all of a sudden, the Lord, in his infinite mercy, single me out and here i am today i may not end this uh message today but i want to let you know that we serve jehovah Elohim. in the book of genesis chapter 16 verse 13 that was the name hagar gave to god we know Hagar, the slave of uh, abraham this woman did not seduce abraham he did not even have eye on abraham but the woman by herself Offer her to the husband and she gave birth. But that was the problem of her life. And I believe this woman almost caused God. Why did you allow this to happen to me? But in the midst of that challenge is when they throw her out. She looked up to God. An Egyptian slave. Christian Pentecostal Mission International, Houston, Texas, presents. Your Hour of Miracle. Are you dejected? Rejected? Battered? Confused or depressed? I have good news for you, there is hope. The blind see, the lame walk, sinners are saved, captives are set free, it is never a dull moment. Ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. This program is a miracle service. Therefore what you have come here to do is to receive your miracle. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. Holy God! That's the power. That's the 
but yes, yes. Ha, ha, ha. I said it. I said it. Oh my God, what an awesome anointing. What a power. What a step. What a step. What a step. What a step. What a power. What a power. In the middle, the power is there. That's the power. That's the power. That's the power. Somebody help. That's the power. 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 Oh my God, look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. The anointing is here. The anointing is there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The power. The power. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. L. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator, come and experience the God of Wonder. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. I know that God sees me. The meaning of Jehovah error, it means God sees me. He's with me all the time. He's with me all day. He's my loving friend, my savior all the time. He's with me all day. He's with me all the time. He's my loving friend, my savior all the time. Jehovah is saying you. Jehovah sorted this woman out in the midst of that challenges. Another woman that was divinely sorted out was Rahab. A woman that did not deserve the mercy of God. But Jehovah Eroi sorted her out. A prostitute, a woman that her life, nothing good can come out of her. A non-entity. But the Lord sorted out by the eye of his mercy. And she became a lineage of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever you think you are going through today, there is a reason. There is a purpose. There are some mountains that come to our life that we can pray for the mountain to roll away. But some mountains are there to be a stepping stone. If you pray and pray for that mountain to melt away, to rain away, he refused to, not because God is not hearing you. God has planted that mountain there to be what? A stepping stone to your greatness. That situation you are going through now, I don't know, but thou knowest. God knows. And you're about to throw in the towel. You were saying this is November again. The year 2017 is rolling away again. And look at these mountains, this standing. Brethren, look out. The sun that is out is enough to dry your proof. No matter what you're going through, don't give up. Jehovah, the God of 11th hour, can still pursue you. If only you will ask. Not just ask it, but believe. Everything is telling you. My paper is about to expire. Hey, where will I start again? And there is no hope of renewal. What will I do? The year is running out. Not running out. Don't give up. How you will figure it out is not your business. But what do you do? Ask. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God and pray just because we refuse to carry to him take your problem to the Lord take those challenges those evil suggestions that the enemy is bringing to you drop it at the feet of Jesus Christ and never look at it again don't use your number six don't use your human mind to figure it out no if you want to figure it out your, your, your intellect, your power your, your perception will put you down there but when you trust in the Lord, how God will do it, I don't care. But I still said it, yes, and I believe it. And that settles it. I want to run up. Drop your true problem at his face. Drop it at his face. And don't look back again. He has a plan for your life. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 15 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you 
unexpected end. Uh, did he promise you a expected end? Yes. But he has not promised promise you a small journey. The journey may be rough. But the good news is, there's an unexpected end. Talk to somebody by your side. Look at that man. Look at that woman. I bought eyeball and give him high five. Tell him, God have a vision for your life. Pastor Sam, God have a vision for your life. No. It can't just go like that. There is a plan for your life. He has a vision for your life. He brought you all the way. It's too late for him to abandon you. You are a project in the hand of God. He can never abandon you. Man can give up on you. Your husband can write you off. Your wife can look at you and say, that is nothing good can come out of you. Your parents can give birth to you that are supposed to encourage you. They can look at you and say, you know what? You are a non-entity. You are a mistake in this family. But is that the plan of God for your life? No. Christian Pentecostal Mission International, Houston, Texas, presents Your Hour of Miracle Are you dejected? Rejected? Battered? Confused or depressed? I have good news for you, there is hope. The blind see, the lame walk, sinners are saved. Captives are set free. It is never a dull moment. Ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. This program is a miracle service. Therefore, what you have come here to do is to receive your miracle. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. the power. That's the power. Yes, yes. Ha, ha, ha. I said it. I said it. Oh my God. What an awesome anointing. What a power. What a step. What a step. What a step. What a step. What a power. What a power. When the power is there. That's the power. That's the power. That's the power. Somebody help me. That's the power. 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 Oh my God. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. The anointing is there. The anointing is there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Your power. Your power. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. M. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator, come and experience the God of Wonder, CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. My mother looked at me one day and he said, you are a mystic. He said, thank God, you have a twin. And to the glory of God, then my twin sister was married. She have, uh, my mom had a grandchild through her, through her. She said, thank God, I have my grandchildren. Let me see how your life will be. For the first time, I look at her eyeball to eyeball. And I say, Mama, truly you are the channel through which I come to this planet Earth. You are the one, the vessel that God used to carry me for nine months. But my faith is not subject to negotiation. Tell somebody, my faith is not subject to negotiation. Shake my faith on the altar of failure, on the altar of loneliness, on the altar of, ab of abandonment, on the altar of poverty. No! And I told her, the stone that the builder rejected shall be the chief cornerstone. Shall we be upstanding? And it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. But paraventure, 
you ask, you are not receiving. You knock and the door is not being opened. You sought and you could not find. The same Bible said in the book of Matthew 11, 12. Is that right from the time of John the Baptist that the kingdom of God survived violence and it's only the violent one that will take it by force. This year, this year, the remaining days for this year to run to an end, you can still take it by force. I say, enough is enough. My story must end up in glory. Every glory in my life that the enemy has come to share. Father, restore. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My lip breaking is a terrible shatter. Open your mouth and pray this morning. My father, my father, it is not over yet until it is over. The remaining days, the remaining weeks for this year, 2017, to come to an end. My story can still, we are still story can end in glory. You can still visit my case. Jehovah can still visit my case. Jehovah can still visit my case. The immigration officer, they are men. The, the attorney general is a man. That man, that woman is a man. Every other person are men. Jehovah is the only God. Who was the finest day in your life? Jehovah was the finest day. Tell me, who was the finest day in your case? Jehovah was the finest day. Jehovah turned my life around. He turned my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Final say. Yes, the doctor does not have the final say over your life. The attorney the general does not have the final say in your life. Not even Trump has the final say over your life. Who has the final say? Jehovah. Turn to that God this morning and say, Father, I appreciate you because you have follow. You have a plan for my life. I appreciate you, Lord, because I know every challenge I'm going through is your plan for my life to take me to a place that is God there. Daddy, I give you all the glory. Thank you from the depth of your heart this morning. Is there any area you have murmured? You have grumbled? Say, Daddy, I am sorry. Lord, I am sorry. I am just being human. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Daddy, I give you glory. I appreciate you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for how far and how well you have taken you. You have taken me. Lord, I worship you. I give you all the glory. Sincerely thank him this morning. Bless his holy name. Give him all the glory this morning. If you can thank him, you will see God in your situation. If you can give him glory, you will see God appear in your situation. Thank him this morning. Say thank you, Jesus. Daddy, I appreciate you. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, God, I command this ground to hold on now and begin to swallow every problem in my life. Open your mouth and pray this morning. Jehovah has given you an open check. Tell, talk to that ground. So, Fuile, Iwaile, Boro, Lua, Lato, you know, my baby, I'm sure you're ready. Oh, Iwaile, oh, yeah, the Ola Lano, Pope Bush, right? Oh, you're grand. Open your mouth and swallow every problem of my life. Swallow poverty, swallow stagnancy, swallow loneliness, swallow sickness, whatever that is not glorifying God in my life. You grand. Open your mouth and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Say, let the root of irritation that keeps anger in my life to be destroyed now. You know, many of us, anger has kept us where we are. Anger has taken away our life and we get easily irritated to the extent that our helper has been, has been pushed away because of anger. Anger has destroyed so many things. Anger has kept us stagnant. Say, Lord God, my Father, I command.
CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord.